my friends it is the 7th of november 2022 and i'm here in paris to catch the once famous night train to nice operated by sncf the french national railway company thank you so much for joining me on this trip to the Côte d'Azur, and let's begin a trip report welcome to the not so majestic station of paris australis next to Gare de Lyon. our night train to nice will depart from the station that seems to be in a forever renovation project our train for tonight will be the Intercity de Nuit from Paris to Nice, operated by the SNCF, taking a whooping 12 hours and 23 minutes to reach the Côte d'Azur. This train service once ran as the famous Le Train Bleu, connecting Calais and Paris with the French Riviera, or at least its luxury predecessor. The current one is a strip down to just a regular night train. Our departure platform is number 6, and ticket inspection is done on the platform instead of on board the train. This only applies when departing from Paris. Night train services are on a comeback in France. The service to Nice was just reintroduced in 2021 after an absence of 4 years. The train cars are all being renovated and have first class couchette cars with 4 berths, second class couchette cars with 6 berths and a seating car in a 2 plus 1 configuration. I will be travelling in the first class couchette car for this trip. You might have to share with 3 strangers or you could book the whole couchette for yourself just like I did. It's 10 minutes late, but we are on our way to the Mediterranean Sea. We pass by several RER stations before reaching the outskirts of Paris. Let's have a little room tour. You can lock your door from the inside with two locks. Above the door is the control panel for climate control and the main light. Each berth comes with a pillow and blanket and you have to make up your own bed. On the bottom right is how a made up bed should look like. Next to each berth is a small reading light and a power socket. Against the wall you'll find a bottle of water, a manity kit and some extra space to put your belongings on. There's also a table here, but there's no trash bin. The window blind can be pulled down for complete darkness and a window can also be opened. The light can be switched fully on or just half depending on what your mood is. At the end of each car, you'll find a toilet. Just remember that it isn't a modern one, aka a hole in the ground. So it isn't allowed to use the toilet during stops at stations. The sink is rather modern though, with touchless flow of water and dryer. Each car has also two rooms with just a sink in it. Handy if someone is occupying the toilet for too long. And last but not least, you'll find the bins located near the doors. On my way back, I noticed this old intercity network map hanging in the gangway. Maybe they missed it during renovations. Now let's talk about what you get for amenities from this first class couchette. Each passenger will get a pillow, a blanket, which also functions like a sleeping bag because no sheets are given to you, a bottle of water, and a little 
amenity kit here with inside earplugs, wet towel, uh, peppermint, another wet towel, uh, eye mask, and surprisingly on the inside, I hope you can see it, uh, there's a Sudoku puzzle, including the solution. A nice little uh, gimmick, I would say. There are only limited snacks and drinks on sale, so be sure to stock up on some supplies. By the way, if you're wondering why am I so lucky to have the whole couchette for myself, well, to be honest, I've actually booked all four birthplaces in order to have a private cabin, for the purpose of this trip report, of course. All settled in. Good night, sweet dreams, and see you all tomorrow. A very good morning from the Côte d'Azur. How was the night in the Couchette? Well, I have to admit, this might be one of the best nights I have had on board of the Couchette. And it's because usually when you go for such accommodation, you're sleeping on a bench that is padded. But on this train, you're actually sleeping on a mattress. It's very thin, but a very decent one. So I had a very solid seven hours sleep. And here you can see it more clearly. That's one fine mattress to sleep on. But now back to the amazing view of the Côte d'Azur. We're now approaching Niceville, so let's recap the journey. I'm glad French night trains are on a comeback, and this trip to the Mediterranean coast is just simply amazing. Waking up with a clear sky, the blue sea, and a beautiful coastline is just magical. In terms of comfort, the SNCF doesn't have a sleeper car, but a couchette is really fine. Price-wise, it's much cheaper than for example the night jet, with my ticket costing just 68 euros plus 70 euro surcharge to book out the whole couchette. I would love to recommend this trip to each and every traveler out there. And that was Intercity de Nuit from Paris to Nice. Thank you so much for joining in today. Take care guys and we see each other in the next video.